Okay, so today we're going to take a look at a really cool tool called Wolfram Tones. And yes, that's Wolfram as in Wolfram Alpha. And what this mathematical genius site has done is create an easy way to make different types of music very, very easily that you can use in all sorts of projects in school. They are Creative Commons free, so you can use them however you like. You can also share them with your friends on Facebook and even make them your own ringtones. So let's take a look at how easy this is. Go to Start Now and we'll check it out. Over here you notice we're in the generation mode. I'm going to stop that real quick. This is the generation mode. So it automatically is generating an R&B, and there's a lot of math behind this, and you can kind of study even how it's creating these different algorithms to create this type of music. But basically, I can choose a different composition over here. I can randomly make it a different style. I can show variations. So for instance, if I hit variations, I can look over here and see different types of rhythms going on. So let's say I want to have a rock pop, and I'm going to go to show variations. All right, so notice I got my uh, rock pop over here, and I can change a whole bunch of things over here. For instance, if I go over here to generator, I can choose different rule types, which of course would give you over here different variations. So if I click on different variations, you're going to get different tempos. You're going to get different heights over here if I make the height really high. Or I make it primarily low notes. So over there I can have low notes, I can have high notes, I can have cyclic boundaries, which I can turn on or off. But here's where it gets neat. Instrumentation. I can choose over here what types of instruments are playing. And it's really, really simple. I have a grand piano that's electric. Let's take that out for a harpsichord. And it's not going to be a bass. Let it be polyphonic. And you can hear the change really quickly. Now you can go over here and do some more intense things like pitch mapping. Let's say we don't want the E or the F. Let's say we want just C and C sharp. Good for a chase scene, perhaps, in a school movie. There's a lot of great things you can do over here. So the really neat thing is you can email these sounds, you can save them, you can download them. It's a very, very cool way to make music for your class projects. Over here under time controls, you can play with the tempo a little bit more, make it really fast, or make it really slow. And again, save it, share it out. Be sure to check out Wolfram Tones.